folks, I welcome you once again to the Challenge Foundation. The Challenge Foundation is a nonprofit organization that highlights some of the persons with disabilities. Um, we try to advocate for their dignity and their rights in African societies. Today, the guest on my show is an entrepreneur, a young woman entrepreneur, and she is in the person of Idrisu Hamida. Idrisu Hamida, you are welcome to the show. Thank you very much. I'm honored to be here. Thank you too. Um, our viewers would like to know something about you. So okay. introduce yourself to us. Okay. Um, my name is Hamida and it is Hamida. And I'm from the northern part of Ghana, Tamale to be precise. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, I have five siblings. Um, I attend a Tamale, a Tamale Technical University also known as Tamale Polytechnic. Okay. And um, yeah. were you born with your disability? You know, over here on this show, we are talking disabilities. So we like people to know whether we are born with a disability or maybe it happened later on in life. So tell us. Okay. Um, I was born uh, as any other normal child, but at the age of nine, I fell sick and was sent to hospital and I got an injection, which was, I, I think they injected me wrongly on my veins and then that is how my disability came about. Okay. And Put earlier on that you have multiple disabilities. Yeah, I have, apart from living on my left leg, mm -hmm. I have essential, essential tra trauma, which um, controls my body to shake my head, my hands. And this is a bit challenging. This is very challenging in whatever I do. Okay. It affects whatever I do, especially in the education field. Okay. So Writing. I understand, we understand that you went to Tamale Technical University, right? Yes. Now, back in the school, were there any specific challenges that you were faced with? Well, I, I have numerous of challenges when I was in the university. Yeah. I'm um, climbing, you know, climbing on uh, stairs to go to lectures was a bit challenging. And also writing exams with my colleagues with using the same time provided was also a challenge. Yeah. And how was um, the attitude of friends towards you? Well, for that one, my uh, like I have a good relationship with my colleagues and teachers as well. Okay, they accepted you. Yes, yes. That is very nice. And um what about growing up with your disability among your siblings? How was it like? Wow. Um, it's also okay. They have accepted me like that. Wonderful. Yeah. After your, your university education, someone could have been looking for a job in an office. What motivated you into entrepreneurship? Okay, my motivation is that I didn't want to sit idle and also want to 
I mean, want to be unique in my own ways, as in mostly, uh, most uh, physical challenge people in, let me say, where I live, that is Tamale, most of them, some are like begging on the streets. Yes, and which I didn't want to be part of that. So I decided to come up with an idea of using the plastic surgeon rubber, rubbers to recycle into useful home decor products like pillow, travel neck rest, rain coat, but that one did not go through mm -hmm. because I was lacking the support to push it up. So I turned into organics. So currently I'm into pure organic products. Okay, can you give us um, an example of some of your, your, tell us an example of some of your products? The organic okay. products, yeah. Yeah, um, an example of some of my, Organic product is shea butter, mm -hmm. honey, um, granite paste, granite oil, and then other essential oils. Okay, okay. So do you do you produce them yourself, or you go around no, and buy them? Yeah, currently I buy from people to come and sell. Okay, so do, do you have a shop or how do you market it? No, I, I'm just in the house and then marketing it online or friends recommendations too is also helping it, but I'll be glad to start producing on my own. Okay, so you, you have people who support you, you have uh, staff, that support you? How many staff, how many people do you have that support you? Okay, I have my mom and I have my two siblings. So yeah. it's like a family business. A family yes. business. The family assists you for now. Yes, yes. Okay. Um, no, um, they, as, they assist in kindness, like, delivering the, the product for me when I get to customer. Yeah. Okay. Uh, That's the current support I'm receiving from my family. Okay. At here for me, Pamuchao, Mini, um, Idrisi, um, Kamika, and I'm all born Komo and me. Or your young and Katunay, Ovia University. Now, our multiple disabilities, but um, or see, it affected the movement. She's not stable apart from um, the nine. Um, there is another disability that affects her, her movement, her stability, and to, because of that, and it affects her writing and other activities. And to, um, she decided to enter into entrepreneurship. Oh, share ya, me pa chow. Um, share video ni mayen, share video ni mayen. Ah, um, it do Thursdays, um, twelve midnight to four a.m. Um, can tune in to Unique FM ninety five point seven with your host Kalasi Sikanku, a visually impaired person. To listen to Touch a Heart program. That is from 12 midnight to 4 a.m. Now, our friends, so, um, on every Tuesday, um, Facebook Live, Facebook Live, you can also tune in to listen to Apostle Samuel Mesa Corsa of House of Glory Triumphant Chapel. Tuesdays from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. and Fridays um, 12 midnight to daybreak for fair prayer. Thank you. Share video now, Mr. Chow. Share video, Emma. 
Hamza. Aha. Now, um, you you have been lucky um, to be accepted by parents and friends. Back in in your um, university, um, Tamale Technical University. Um, apart from that, was there any challenge? Was there any experience you have encountered as a person with disability that um, you will never forget in your life? Yes. Most, so after graduating from the university, most institution I've applied to, even when they call you for interview and you present yourself and you are physically chilling, they give you an excuse like they can't employ you because they don't see if you can be able to work in that form. Even though I will be qualified. Quite apart from that, um, I did my national service in the very institution I completed, thermally polytechnic. Okay. Um, I was uh, the lecturers, students, everyone was, everyone knows me. But mm -hmm. after the the um, after the national service, yeah. They wasn't able to accommodate me. Yeah. So um, some of these um, job applications that you sent, did they allow you to go through the process of the interview at all? Or the moment you present yourself, you are, you are denied the interview? Or do you go through the interview and then later you are denied the job? It's good. Some I some I go through the interview and later they said I can't fit in, and some too they just said no, I can't be here. Okay. So why do they tell you spe specifically that uh, because of your your disability you cannot be fit or you don't fit into the job position or they, they simply deny you that job. And how do you know that you are you are denied because of your disability? Sometimes and the actions and then the way they treat you and then um, some words they use means a lot. And then you, your, me, myself, just know that after leaving here, they will not call me back. Yes. What do you have to say if you have the opportunity to speak to employers who do that? What will you tell them? What what I, I want to tell them is that they should look at the and um, they should see it that in every disability there is ability, and then they should try their best to try to try us and see, I mean, to try our capability and see if, if we are able in to, us. in us, yes. I'm just sad. Yeah, but God is able. Um, Amida, so how did you conceive this idea of um, using uh, plastic waste um plastic to produce pillows and other stuff you mentioned how did you conceive that idea okay um actually uh, like i mentioned earlier i'm someone who wants to empower myself before um a third person or second person coming so um, after i was searching for a job and i wasn't getting I decided to join a program called um, it could have entrepreneur program. And in that program, they drew a challenge for us to create something like if you are creativity. Mm -hmm. and that is how I came by it. I wanted to help the environment and also make money out of it. 
So I started um, with the plastic mm -hmm. to see if I made it. I wanted to actually sell pillows because that's what I can do. My condition, I can't do something that is physically labor. Yeah. So I wanted to sell pillows, but I wanted to do it in different ways, uniquely ways. And that is how I came by it. I decided to try the plastic. So first of all, I was using it very raw like that, but it wasn't working. I, I, usually I discuss things with my mother. We came out with an idea that we should cut them into pieces. After doing that, gradually we, 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 we come up with the whole product and it was good. Do you have yeah. samples there right now? Do you oh, have samples of no. your product? Okay. No, but I have to test send. Okay. Yeah. Now, if um, Hamza, what will be your final word? to government, parliamentarians, and um, everybody as a whole, towards persons with disabilities. Yeah, so my final word is that we are capable. All we need is their support. So their support so that we can emerge the world. That is what we need okay um would you want to put any social media handles out there would you want to put your number out there do which one you are comfortable with so that in case anybody is watching and you want to support you. okay my, my social handle is idrisu amida and eh, hamida idrisu yamba Amida Idrisu Yamba. Mm -hmm. Yeah, on Facebook. Okay. Amida Idrisu Yamba. Okay. And and my organic page is Tabra. Mm -hmm. Tabra Organics. Okay. And my number is 059 Three six two nine seven two nine. That's my number. Okay. Thank you very much. It has been wonderful speaking with you. Thank you too. Thank you very much for watching the video. Please bye bye.